everyone, Derek F. John Cohen Davis AK, the strategy man. And the question I've got for you today is around values. Do you have a set of values? If so, what are they? Do all your employees actually abide by them and do you live them fully? And do you hire, fire and select your customers based on your values? Big questions. Now the reason I'm asking you that today is um, I spoke to the Future 50 last week which is the 50 highest growth companies in the UK, selected by the government. I was very blessed. I spoke to them last year again, to the CEOs. And this year I got to speak to the HR directors, the people who are running the whole talent programs. Bear in mind, all these guys are like 10 million plus in revenues and scaling people like you wouldn't believe. And guess what? The topic was values. Well, actually, the questions weren't values. The questions were, how do I have difficult conversations with people? How do I get rid of people within the company that shouldn't really be there and don't fit anymore, but they're really good at their jobs? Um, and how do I have, um, how do I get um, the best talent out there and retain them for the long term? All of those questions and many more like them, they were just the kind of symptom really of a big core thing, which is values. Now, <laughs> let's just get to the point. Why and Derry, what are you sitting here in a Peppa Pig uh, t-shirt for? This is my daughter's towel. And I am actually currently in a water park in West Wales, having a beautiful family holiday, taking five minutes out to cut this because it seems totally appropriate. Because one of the things we're addressing is you can't have a value on the wall and then not live it. So, and one of the ones I see a lot, um, which are quite, is quite a destructive value, is fun. Now, <laughs> believe me, you, know, you won't be seeing me in a Peppa Pig towel again. But because fun really isn't one of our values. Do I like to be cheeky and irreverent? Yes, I do. But you know, it's not about fun. Do I like having fun? Yeah, but it's not the core of who I am. And equally, it's very difficult to fire based on fun. Um, now, one of the things I sort of differentiate ourselves on values is it's a sackable offence. And a lot of people go, really, Derry, do you really mean that? And I'm like, yes, I do. I really mean it's a sackable offence. And that's how I've discovered values. Now, when we were talking to the Future 50, the big thing that came out of the Future 50 was actually a lot of those did have values, but everyone's kind of lost the meaning in the company and they just become bullshit values that sit on the wall. You know the ones I mean, it's kind of five or six words, sit on a wall in reception and you actually either nobody lives them um, and breathes them or more destructively people don't actually believe in them anymore. It's like, yeah, that's integrity on the wall and, and Susie stealing from the stationery cupboard. You know, that's when um, values and culture has gone bad and there's a lot of it out there right now. And it was so refreshing to see these top HR professionals, um, and they're not really HR professionals anymore, I really hate the word HR, they are talent. Um, it's all about talent, it's about, keep, it's about attracting talent, retaining talent, developing talent, and then moving talent on, when they're, and allowing that talent to move on if the time's right. So, what I want you to really think about is, do you have values right now? If so, are you really, really living them? Are you truly, uh, do you truly believe in them? And does everyone in your company live and breathe them? If not, you've got some work to do, and it's called culture. If you don't have a set of values, well, let's go to work. Uh, just get out the book, strategy on a page, there's a whole chapter around values, and I'll show you the four questions you need to be asking. And the first question is, who have you fired and why? If you fired somebody, if you want to fire somebody, um, or there's people in business that have pissed you off, that's a really good place to start because it's a cross of values typically, nothing more. So get to work, get into the book, we'll go into it all there, and let's get your set of values because values to me are the most important part of the page, next to purpose, and they are a sackable offense, and they're actually your competitive advantage. And the key to living a really cool life, because if you've got people around you and they're all surrounded, you're surrounded by people of similar values, and you're surrounded by customers of similar values, I promise you, it's a beautiful business and a beautiful life. Go to work, see you on the other side.